What's going on guys? This is Cloud Knight from Night Villain Entertainment here. I'm going to teach you a quick video on how to um, animate in GIMP. And this is going to be on my next video because I needed another action scene. So I might as well do another, do this and knock it down at once. So the first thing you're going to need is a sprite sheet and you're going to need a base. Reco recommend whatever your base stat is, whatever your character is going to be in. 111 times 43 is probably uh, my base. I'm going to probably tweak it later. And so you're just going to copy pace now you got him in your base now me he's too small so i'm gonna layer i'm gonna group him up i'm gonna make him about 100 to about uh 146 i think it's about 100 to 146 and there we go we got the base 1 to 146 so remember that 100 to 146 next we're gonna do a new layer click the ok button for the new layer we're gonna leave him there we're gonna go to that next sprite as you can see there's some blue and what I want to use, so I want to get rid of that. Just use the magic tool. If you don't know how to use the magic tool, just click it, and then so whatever background color you want, you just just click it, and you just hit the delete button. So we're gonna copy that, paste that in. Now remember, we use the hundred to one forty six, so you gotta do that all the time. Uh, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you want to tweak it, like you know, one sixty, one sixty four. Was it one hundred to one sixty four? I don't remember. Uh, but we're gonna make sure you line up the feet. Always the feet. Line up the feet. Don't matter what uh, what it looks like. Just line up the feet. Or you can line up the uh, yeah, line up the feet uh, like this. So it looks like he like moved his foot or whatever. Cause you gotta remember we're only using three frames here. So when you when you're ca happy with what it looks like, you can kind of see like boom, 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 boom. boom. Boom, boom, boom. You can kind of see it like pop out and move. So we're gonna do another layer, and this is gonna be the kicker. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What am I doing here? So we're gonna just bong, bong. There we go. There's the Ryu control. Just pop. Now this, he's like fully fledged out, so I don't even have to do anything. I just move. This, cause he's like really big. He's taking up the whole damn screen. So what I'm gonna have to do is make the image, make the layer. I'm gonna have to make the layer. Crap. So before we do him, we're gonna have to make the layer. We're gonna have to get rid of that. We're gonna have to make the layer. Um, we're gonna have to delete this layer. We're gonna make a new layer by the dimensions that we're gonna go with, which is a hundred to. 168 I think that's what it was and it's gonna obviously be a little bit bigger but it doesn't matter and we're gonna paste him in and as you can see he's like well why isn't he like always in the in the thing but that's just because he is in the thing for some reason this is not allowing him to be in the, the thing, thing I don't know man anyway we're gonna we're gonna continue this so so one way you can do it is you can you can just compromise and scale him down just a little bit. Oh, that's because he's not 100. 100. 168. There you go. And now you can see he kind of looks like a little bit retarded, but whatever, dude. It is what it is at this point. Make sure. Oh, yeah, he does not look good. <laughs> I'm trying to get this right without looking like... Not looking so dumb. I don't know. First of all, all right. Why? Yeah, that, I didn't like that. I don't know why I was doing that. All right. So we're gonna paste him in. Scale the layer down just a little bit. We're gonna. We want it to about a hundred. As you can see, it's it's small. We want it. We want it. Uh, we want the height bigger. We want like we want the height bigger, and we want. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to do it, you could scale. There's a scale tool we can use. Where is it? Right here, and this can get them like how we want it. So we're just gonna we're gonna kind of do it my way. Of course, it's not gonna look the best, but it's it's gonna get the damn job done, and that's what we want to do: is get the job done. We want the whole like thing in the picture. All right. Now, as you can see, he's in the picture frame. His full foot's there. And that's pretty much it. That's, like, that's pretty much what you're going to do. And if you go like this, you can kind of see, like, boom, 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 boom. Then there's a tool 
you go to the animation tool, hit the playback. You can play. Boom, 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 boom. And then if you like, you can just you can see it evolve. And that's how you animate. And um, and get now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transform it, flip it horizontally for mine. Then you're gonna go to filters and go to sprite sheet, create from layer. And boom, then you can use it in your game. You can use it pretty much, you know, whatever you're going to use it for. So that's how you animate in GIMP. Um, of course, if you have more frames of what you're going to use, you can make it a lot more smoother. You're going to see it in my series of making this game, this fan game I'm working on. I'm going to be doing it like everything I do is going to be on video and post it on YouTube. So you hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date and follow on the whole process of what I'm doing. And that's how you animate and get them. So peace out, guys. God bless.